This channel supports 8-Bit Salute and Operation Supply Drop. Please help us raise money to help support our men and women in service throughout the world. Operation Supply Drop. Making fun where there is none. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Vegas and sitting here kind of brainstorming. Um, should be sleep, but my mind is working. Because uh, I'm just thinking about a lot of things. Uh, and one of those things is... Um, I've been going through, um, well, let's just go with the first thing first. Um, other day, I deleted a shit ton of my videos on YouTube. Um, some stuff that I didn't have back up, some stuff that, um, got me a lot of views when I dropped them, and, and to be honest, some stuff that still got tagged every now and then, I would get, like, a hit on that video um but it was stuff that was about two three years old for the most part so i haven't been really keeping um a tab on my account um to be quite honest the last two years have not been my best as far as personally speaking like my personal life so therefore, um, the YouTube thing, it hasn't gone the way that I wanted it to because I don't feel like I have been as focused as I should have been or could have been. Um, that being said, I just decided, you know what, stuff that's from 2013, 2014, let's just go ahead and let's just cut ties with it. Um. And I know a couple of people hit me on Twitter and they were like, yo, you might not want to do that. You might regret it. But um, the more I think about it, the less I regret it. And the, the reason the, I don't regret it that much, at least right now, is that you know, I'm looking for change. And I'm looking to kind of push myself forward, motivate myself to look more towards the future. Because I'll be honest. I've dwelled way too much on the past. Um, you know, over the course of time, I've let past things hold me back. I've um, clung to past um, positives and haven't really pushed myself towards future things. It's a lot of ideas that I've been coming up with, a lot of things that I want to do, and I've just not done them because the past has weighed me down either in a negative way or um you know just making me lackadaisical i guess um <clears throat> and i knew that cough was gonna come out but fuck it ah jesus anyway hate spring i swear to god pollen allergies all that shit <coughs> sinus is draining god damn it you motherfucker <clears throat> okay, that should be good. Are we good? We good. All right, I think we good. Yeah, we're good. Anyway, so I just was just like, no, let me just like get this stuff. And let's not be discriminate. Um, I got rid of a lot of cool things too. Um, all of my strip club tales are gone, people. Um, it's funny. I got rid of a lot of drunken old man rants, although a lot of those are already backed up. In other places, I have a shit ton of old man rants. In fact, I mean, sorry, not old man rants, but drunken old man rants. In fact, I have so many that when I got rid of the ones I did and I went through my drunken old man uh, rant um, playlist, which had about 90 videos on there, but of course I deleted a bunch. So then <clears throat> got rid of the ones I deleted and then had it add the ones that I've done. Um, in the course of between 2015 and now, I still got like 80 fucking drunken old man rants. I had drunk a lot, people. I had drunk a lot. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of rants, and like I said, I still got a shit ton of rants backed up. So, jeez. Yeah. Um, drunken old man rants ain't going no fucking where. Believe me. Um, but yeah, it's just like. A little sports stuff, some um, <clears throat> technical stuff that I did, like tutorials and things like that. I just cut it all. I just cut it all because it's like, 
I'm at a point now where I am really looking to move on to um, pushing hard to work on new content. It's something I haven't really been doing over the past few months. Um, 2016, to be quite honest, I haven't been as proactive as I should be. Uh, I mean, things have been a struggle because 2014, um, getting laid off um, on some bullshit, uh, family medical issues, losing my mom, <clears throat> financial struggles through all of 2015, trying to get myself back on my feet, finally finding a new job, uh, trying to work that out, plus go to school and you know maintain the grades and all that. Cycling into 2016, um, getting more hours at work, so I'm like finances are getting slightly better, but still got issues, tons of car trouble. Um, just like it's been just like a constant storm, and I let that storm pull me away from doing the things that I love so much so that I have not streamed in about two months maybe more which is not good because I really enjoy streaming and streaming is also a big part of my charity um, promotion so that's really bad and just the other day right before I deleted that stuff I was like yo it's just time for you to break the past and start really pushing for your future pushing for what you want you let a lot of time go by You've done some good things even through that struggle, but you haven't done what you need to do to put yourself where you want to be. Um, and enough's enough, Michael. Uh, so I guess it was kind of like, uh, what's the name of the uh, explorer? I think it was, was it Cortez who burnt his ships? To, they said in motivation for his men to keep pushing forward and to go out and discover someplace, you know, find the resources to be able to get themselves to where they need to be instead of just having that fall back of, well, things get rough. I can always look back to the ships and all that. You know, <clears throat> I guess that was my burning the ships. Um, it's, it, it's scary. I know it sounds scary, but I feel like there's some type of weight lifted off of me because now it's just like now you need to reestablish that stuff. The things that you were successful for that you got rid of, make that success again. In fact, make that success better. Um, you have a lot of good ideas, Michael. You, you know, know what you want. You just need to dedicate the time and effort towards getting it. And that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, and it's probably not going to be a fast process, but it's a process that I have to push myself to do um, for my benefit. And I think it's going to end up benefiting anybody who follows me on Twitch or YouTube. Um, because, you know, one of the things I'm thinking about with YouTube is um, I want to build a, possibly another channel. I haven't decided if I'm going to build another channel or rework this channel. The thing is, if I rework this channel, I may need to get rid of a lot more content. And I honestly um, don't want to change this channel much, which is why I would prefer to probably make another channel because my idea is to build a brand, um, not just, you know, be a guy on YouTube, but I want a, a brand that I can work a lot of different ideas in, um, have it attached to that brand. Uh, that's that's my motivation right now. It's like to try to build something with my writing, and that you know become a more much more refined. You know, I want to keep my silly, goofy, retarded stuff like you guys see, but I want that brand to stand out on its own. And that's why I kind of don't want to like identify it with this channel, so it, it's it's a decision I'm gonna have to uh, make, which I will make over the next couple of days. I'm gonna talk to some people whose opinion I truly trust and see what they think about it. But yeah, that's it's just uh, there's a lot that I want. I want to refine my Patreon page and tie it to that. 
make it, you know, try to push that as a way to help expand the brand into something that I want it to be. All of that stuff um, I'm going to have to work on. I know it's going to be hard because with the full-time job, um, financial responsibility, school, you know, it's going to be rough. But if it's something I really want, I'll make time for it. And that's my thing. Um, you know, I say I want a lot of things, but I don't put the effort and time behind it. And it's time for me to put up a shut up. That's just it. So getting rid of those videos is just one sign that I, you know, I need to start to do things in a different way and take chances, take risks, stop being passive, stop wasting my time, stop, you know, letting things go that could help me. Um, you know, stop letting opportunities pass me by. It's time to go for it. And that's pretty much the move from right here on then. But anyway, just wanted to share that personal moment with you guys. Yes, personal moments. They're back. And the green screen will be back. All that will be back, you know. I'm, I'm trying to get back. <laughs> People, trust me. We, we're getting back. Believe me. But anyway. As always, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll haunt you later. This your boy Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces.